Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. Microsoft had its Ignite event last week and there were so many announcements across all of their services that I won't be able to fit them all into my regular Roadmap Radar update. So we've made a special update just for Teams this month. This video has my pick of all the new features coming to Teams that were announced at Ignite 2020. Together mode was released recently as part of the new meeting experience in Teams last month. It allows you to switch to a view where everyone in the meeting can be seen at the same time in a virtual room. Now Microsoft are adding more together mode scenes, including an auditorium, a conference room and a coffee shop. This update should be available before the end of this year. There are new custom layouts coming to Teams meetings. For example, a presenter will be able to share their slides and their video feed at the same time with them in the foreground and the slides in the background. This feature should be available before the end of this year. I know this is a feature a lot of people are waiting for. Breakout rooms will allow meeting organizers to split up attendees into smaller groups. Presenters can choose to move between breakout rooms, make announcements to all the breakout rooms and close breakout rooms and bring them back into the main meeting. This feature should land in October. Meeting recaps will be added to meetings to help attendees and anyone who missed your meeting keep track of what was discussed and shared. Meetings will now include a details tab that will have the meeting recording, the transcript and notes, and any files that were shared. It will also be shared on the chat tab of the meeting and in your Outlook calendar. This feature will be available by the end of this year. For webinars, meeting organizers will be able to use event registration with automated emails to make it easier for them to manage who's attending. When the meeting's finished, they can view a detailed dashboard that will show them attendee engagement, like hands raised and comments made. These new features are expected to roll out by the end of this year. Microsoft is going to simplify calling from the Teams app. The Calls app will have a refreshed view that shows contacts, voicemail, and calling history together, making it easier to make or return a call with one click. This update is coming later this year. Microsoft are also adding collaborative calling, which will enable customers to connect a call queue to a channel in Teams. We'll be able to share information in the channel while taking a call in the queue. Teams templates will let people choose from new templates when you create your team. Microsoft will provide new templates for things like projects, new employee onboarding and event management. And administrators will be able to add custom ones. Each template comes with predefined channels and apps. Teams templates is available now. The channel information panel is a sidebar in the Teams app that shows you a summary of active members, pin posts, and other useful information for each channel. The channel information panel is available now. The way you search in Teams is gonna be redesigned. It will be powered by Microsoft Search, which is the same search engine used everywhere else in Office 365. And Microsoft say it will make finding posts, people and files much easier. They say you'll get your search results faster and they'll use artificial intelligence to refine them based on the people and content that you engage with across Teams and Office 365. This update is coming later this year. A new SharePoint home site app will bring your intranet homepage into Teams. The app name and icon will match the branding your organization chose for the SharePoint site and it can be pinned to the left-hand bar in the Teams app. This update is coming later this year. A new approvals app will let us add a document approval workflow to Teams. We'll be able to add documents to a chat or a channel conversation and request approval inside of Teams. The approver can then approve or reject directly from the post or use the approvals app without leaving Teams. Approvals will become generally available in October. There will be a refresh of the Power BI app for Teams. The Power BI app aims to create a central place for us to find and analyze data, all inside of Teams. This update will be in public preview later this year. 
And finally, there will be a brand new Power Automate app for Teams. It will have a set of templates to automate working teams and a new flow designer. And Microsoft will be adding new ways to automate work, including actions like creating a meeting. This app will be along later this year. So there's my pick of the top Teams announcements from Ignite 2020. Well done for sticking with me to the end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.